Welcome, residents of Dorm C. I am Katie, your dorm mother, or DM, and I will be introducing you to your new life here at Finewood Academy. You will pay attention, you will not let your mind wander, and you will be required to follow all of the Academy's rules to the letter. The fact that you are here means you have made some poor choices in your brief time on this planet. Look around. What do you see? You do not see men or women here. In this Academy, you are all cubs. You will all be treated equally, without exception. At Finewood, no one is judged based on their gender, and there is no room for shame when it comes to our bodies. Here, we recognize that we all possess human bodies. Nothing more, nothing less. Certain routines will demand your attention, and these routines will normalize things that, in the outside world, may have seemed uncomfortable or unfamiliar. But at Finewood, there is no discomfort in taking care of your body, whether it's showering, cleaning your chastity devices, or preparing for inspections, nudity, when necessary, is not something to fear or avoid. It is a routine part of life, and it will be treated as such. Now about your chastity devices. You will all be locked in chastity, regardless of whether you are male or female. The belts will be personally fitted to you, cleaned regularly, and maintained properly, and this will be your responsibility. Failure to do so will not be tolerated, and any disregard for hygiene will be met with swift correction. You may find these adjustments difficult at first. That's normal. But remember, your body is simply a vessel that must be cared for and disciplined. There's no room for rebellion here, only growth, obedience, and respect for the rules. Embrace this structure and you will find success within the walls of Finewood Academy. Now, I have personally initiated each of you into Dorm C with six strokes of my cane. Trust me when I say that will be the lightest punishment you will ever feel during your time here at Finewood Academy. Consider it a warm welcome a gentle reminder of the discipline expected of you from this day forward. Unfortunately, many of you will mess up from time to time, and when you do, you will face swift and decisive correction. Let me be clear, Finewood Academy does not tolerate laziness, disrespect, or carelessness. Whether it's oversleeping, failing an inspection, neglecting your duties, or letting your mind wander when you should be focused, every transgression will be met with the correction you deserve. And make no mistake, we take correction seriously here. The cane you felt today is nothing compared to what waits for you if you make poor choices. You will feel the sting of discipline far deeper should you falter. Whether it be through time in the corner, secured tightly for punishment, or an extra set of strokes during a harsher session, you will be made to remember why we value obedience and respect above all else. Every instructor, counselor, and staff member at this academy takes discipline seriously and implements it with their own unique twist. Do not be complacent and think yourself brave enough to simply endure as we have all been trained to break your resistance down so we may reshape you. However, don't let fear be your guide. Let respect and personal pride motivate you. No one here wants to punish you, but it is our duty to mold you into the cub you need to become. The standards here are high for a reason, and failure to meet them will have consequences. Yet, every corrective lesson given is an opportunity, a chance to improve, to grow, and to rise to the expectations placed upon you. Understand that each punishment is simply for your betterment. If you submit yourself fully to the rules and guidance of this academy, you will only grow and become the cub you are destined to be. So take today's initiation as a starting point. You are starting with a clean and fresh slate. You are now part of Dorm C, and how you behave from here on will determine whether the cane remains a rare visitor or a frequent companion. Now listen closely. Today we're going over something critical to your time here at Finewood Academy, cleaning and caring for your chastity devices, as well as maintaining proper hygiene. These things are not optional. They're part of your daily routine, and neglecting them will result in both punishment and discomfort, neither of which you want, trust me. This routine begins every morning promptly at 6.15 a.m. You will not be late. This, as you already know, is your chastity device. It is a reminder of your commitment to discipline and self-restraint. It is a tool that will keep you from indulging in pleasures of the flesh. While we expect self-control and discipline here, 
we know that there are urges you have all proven unable to overcome. This tool will ensure there are no tawdry acts occurring at this academy. And like any tool, it needs proper care. If you fail to clean it thoroughly, it will cause discomfort, irritation, and other issues. Furthermore, it will displease me. You do not want that to occur. First, remove the device carefully once it has been unlocked. No rushing. Use warm water and a mild, unscented soap. You will scrub every part, paying close attention to the areas that contact your skin. Use a soft brush to get into the small crevices. Any buildup or dirt left behind will cause problems, so take your time and do it right. If you fail in even the slightest at this task, you will know quickly as the irritation will build throughout the day. If that sends you to the nursing office, you will be severely disciplined once you are treated. We cannot and will not risk your health at this academy. You will clean your devices every single day without exception. I will be checking for cleanliness, and if I find any neglect, you'll face consequences. Is that understood? Now, another important aspect of hygiene is hair removal. Hair can cause discomfort and complications when you're wearing your devices. You are to keep yourselves completely clean-shaven in the areas the device covers. No exceptions. If you need help with this, speak up now. Personal hygiene is essential. You'll shower daily and I expect you to keep yourselves clean. There's no shame in our bodies here at Finewood, but there is shame in poor hygiene and neglect. Do not let me see you slacking in this regard. It will be very unpleasant for you. These devices are part of you now, cubs. Take care of them and yourselves, and you'll avoid any corrections. Fail to do so, and I'll be the first to remind you why discipline is so important. All right, cubs, take hold of your razors and shaving cream. We shall proceed step by step, so follow along with great care. Yes, I shall be demonstrating. Every member of the academy, from the headmistress to the assistants, performs this task each and every morning. A favorite saying of mine, and one you shall hear often, is, discipline does not discriminate. Now let us begin by soaking the area with warm water. This will soften the hair and open your pores, thus making the shaving process much easier. Go ahead, splash some water on yourselves. Next, take your shaving cream and apply a generous amount to the area. Be certain not to be stingy, more is indeed better in this case, to ensure your skin is well protected. Ensure you cover every part thoroughly and do not rush the process. Very good. Now pick up your razors. You are to use short, gentle strokes in the direction of hair growth. Proceed slowly, there is no need to rush. You do not wish for any nicks or irritation. Keep your strokes light and controlled. I shall begin now, and you should as well. Be mindful not to press too firmly. Excellent, you are all doing quite well. Nice and easy now. Be sure to rinse your razor in between strokes to keep it clean. Do not leave any patches of hair or stubble. You will regret that later when the device is in place. Once you have completed shaving, rinse the area with cool water. This will help to close the pores and leave your skin feeling smooth. Go ahead, splash the cool water on. Now ensure you dry yourselves off thoroughly. We do not want any moisture trapped beneath the device as it will cause irritation. Once you are dry, apply a light layer of moisturizer to the area. This will help keep the skin smooth and prevent any chafing. Now let us turn our attention to the device. Begin with the base ring. Slide it carefully around the base of your genitals, snugly against the skin. Ensure it is positioned evenly and not too tight. You should be able to slide a fingertip between your skin and the ring, but no more. If your device does not have a ring, then place the belt around your waist and fasten the buckles securely. Now take the cage or shield and fit it gently over the freshly shaved area. Move slowly, there is no need to rush. Forcing it will only cause discomfort. Adjust it until it is snug, but not overly tight. Ensure the device fits exactly as it should. Very well. Now let us secure it. Once you hear the click of the lock, you are properly fitted. Double check to ensure there is no pinching or discomfort. Make any final adjustments now, as once it is locked, you shall remain in it. That is it, cubs. You have completed your first proper shave and fitting. You shall adhere to this routine regularly to remain both comfortable and, most importantly, clean. I expect this of every one of you, every day, without exception. 
Remember, this routine begins promptly at 6.15 a.m. in the communal bathroom following your morning shower. Did I just see a few of you rolling your eyes? That will not do. At Finewood Academy, we do not tolerate disrespect. Hygiene and discipline are the foundations of what you will learn here. If any of you think this is beneath you, you are mistaken. Each of you on a stool, facing the wall, now. You can sit there and think about why you are here. You can sit there and reflect on how you will conduct yourselves moving forward. This is not a place for defiance or laziness. Disrespect will get you nowhere here. You will stay in time out for 25 minutes just like that, with your hands on your head. I will be placing two drops of ointment in your chastity devices for today. You will find the ointment to be very uncomfortable for the rest of the day. You are lucky I am not escalating this any further. The next time one of you rolls your eyes or shows any sign of insolence, the consequences will be far more severe. Do you understand? Good. You will sit there for 25 minutes. For the rest of you, you may leave to attend to your duties before class. Remember, the rooms must be spotless before 8 a.m. Inspections occur while you are in class and infractions will be noted on the boards outside of your rooms. Corrections for any dormitory infractions happen before lights out and are carried out by Ms. Misha or me. Please be mindful that we both despise evening corrections and would rather walk the halls tell stories, and generally enjoy social time with all Academy Cubs in the evening. However, as distasteful as we find giving out evening discipline, it shall be given sharply and swiftly so we can get it out of the way and return to our more joyful and lighthearted evening conversations. Yes, we are very disciplined here, but we do love our Cubs, and we find joy in talking and discovering what makes our Cubs tick. Do not fear, though. If you do receive a punishment, just know that all is forgiven once you are corrected. You will be welcomed back to the evening conversations with open arms. As I said, discipline does not discriminate. Nobody is above it, and no shame shall come from enduring it. It is merely a way of shaping you into the cubs we know you can be. Please do not be surprised if you witness a correction or if you yourself are corrected in front of others. Like the human body, we do not see shame in learning lessons. Sometimes the best method to teach a young cub is through their bare backsides. We don't hide while reading books. Why would we hide while shaping young minds? Again, do not live in fear. Live with purpose and strive to better yourself while you are here. Your past is gone. We are all starting with a clean slate. I hope you have a beautiful day. Now off you go. Well, except for you four. We have an unpleasant task to get out of the way first. I'm quite afraid the rest of your day will be spent with a constant reminder to be respectful. The ointment is quite unpleasant. Just think on that until it is time. Now you four, your time is up. Please come here. We need to get this over with. Please take your position. You will not need to remove the devices. There is ample room for me to place the ointment. Please stop trying to fight the sensations. You should welcome the burning and stinging irritation. It is going to be a perfect reminder for you to be respectful for the rest of the day. Do not attempt to wash this off. If the ointment gets wet, it will only intensify the sensation and prolong your discomfort. Soaps and cleansers are even worse. Just embrace this lesson and know that you will make better choices in the future. We do not ask too much from you here at Finewood, but we do ask that you hold yourself to a higher standard. I am being lenient on you. If you ever show that level of disrespect to an instructor or to Miss Misha, you would be caned on your bare bottom daily for a week. We do not tolerate disrespect here in any manner. I am giving you the lightest of punishments today in the hopes that you understand and take this lesson to heart. I see that the ointment has had the desired effect. You may now go and clean your dorm and get ready for class. I will check on you this evening when the ointment wears off. If I hear any reports of you repeating your disrespectful behavior, I will escalate matters. Neither of us wants that. Now, off you go.